What's going on all you samurais out there? That's Samurai, back again with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to play Japanese imports on your PS2. I literally spent a whole week researching on how to do this for myself. Um, I was at an anime convention and I happened to get my hands on this copy of uh, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles, if you guys remember this game. The Japanese version, Uzumaki Naruto Ninden, is one of the games that we never got in the US. We got the American version and it was just crappy. They like, cut the entire game. So I was trying to play this, but I couldn't find how to do it. I'm gonna save you guys a bunch of time doing all that research and I'm gonna give you everything you need here in this video on how to get started today playing Japanese imports on your PS2. All the items I use to make this happen are all linked down in the description below. I got Amazon affiliate links for you guys. You just click on them and grab them, pick them up, and uh, you can get started too. If you're doing this on a newer laptop like I was, you might also need a portable DVD drive. I have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description so you guys can pick that up as well if you need it. All right, so we are gonna be doing this on a PS2 Slim here. Um, this will probably work for a PS2 uh, to like the the fat version the original um, but there's some models here I'll throw up on the screen here so you know um, what to look for here but basically on the back here before you get started there's this model number right here that you want to pay attention to if you have a PS2 that's uh, that has this SCPH uh, 9000 you want to okay because those are the newer PS2s uh, that came out later in its life you want to check your PS2's model number just to make sure that it will work with your PS2 I'm gonna throw up on the screen again for you guys to show uh, on Amazon they have the model numbers that tell you which ones work with the free McBoot software when you pick up your free McBoot you will know uh, you can go down and find out which PS2 works for you. So like I said before, all you need is a free McBoot memory card, which you can get down in the links down below in the description, um, and a USB thumb drive. This is what we're gonna be using to play these imported games. And we're gonna be ripping uh, the CD file off of this, uh, off of the PS2 game here, um, and putting it onto the flash drive. And I'll show you guys how to do that now. All right, guys, so we're in my desktop right now, as you can see. Um, I am working on a Mac, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to get the CD, get the file, the ISO file off the CD and put it onto your flash drive. So here is my flash drive here, and I'm gonna be working with a, uh, I'm gonna be working with a brand new flash drive for you guys, so it's empty here, as you can see. Um, just so you can see the whole process from start to finish. All right, so in this empty flash drive, you wanna go ahead and make two folders here. You're gonna make a CD folder, and then you're gonna make a DVD folder. Once you do that, you're good. Um, we're not really gonna be working with the CD folder here, but the DVD folder is where we're gonna put the ISO file in after we're done converting. So that's what you wanna do. We're gonna click out of that, and you wanna go ahead and put your DVD, uh, the, the game itself, the PlayStation 2 DVD game, in a disk reader or into your PC or whatever you have your, your disk drive and once it's mounted onto your desktop here you want to open it and you're gonna see the contents inside here so you have all of these files here and what we want is we want all of these files but we're gonna do it and put it in an ISO file image file and in order to do that that's that's this right here you want to be looking at this image file right here so we're gonna take this and put it onto the desktop this image file. So there it goes, it's on my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna minimize that. We're gonna come back to that later. We're gonna need to know what's in there. So now that it's on my desktop here, we're gonna go ahead and we wanna convert this file right here into a um, ISO. And there's two steps to get there. So we're going to open up our disk utility here. And then we're gonna go to um, file up here and you want to go to File, New Image, and then go to Image From, and if there's nothing here, you'll see like Devices, but since we have a CD in there, it's going to be the name of the CD, whatever the CD name is for the game that you have inside your disk. You want to click on that, and you're going to get this pop-up here. You want to name the CD whatever you want to name it, basically, but um, just to keep it very simple, we're just going to rename it the same thing it is. So that's IO, for, for my case, it's IO, P, R, P, what is it, 254. And then we're just going to have it go onto the desktop. 
And then for format, you want to change this to DVD and CD master. So we're going to change that in encryption, just leave that at none. You're going to save. And then it's going to start converting that image file here into a CR, I think a CDR file. So we're going to wait on it. All right, just jumping ahead for you guys here, um, showing you it is finished. We have the file now. Uh, it's on the desktop. I just got to go grab it. Now that it's finished here, uh, I was looking around for it. it. It popped up on my other screen here, but basically it's right here. So this is the file you're going to see pop up somewhere. where If you put it on your desktop, you're going to see it on your desktop. It's going to pop up. So it's the same thing as this file right here, this image file, but it's basically a digital version of this uh, DVD. So everything that was on the DVD is now in this and can be read and opened by your computer. Um, but but we can't use this because it's a it's not an ISO. It's a C it's a CDR file. So in order to convert this into a ISO, you simply on Mac can just change the, the file type here and use ISO. And then boom, it's an ISO. This should work. Now, if it doesn't work, uh, let me know down in the comments for you. There is a way to convert this using um, terminal. Um, it just that method for me personally didn't work. So, but this did, and this may it may not work for you, just depending on your software or what operation you're uh, with. Um, I'm sorry, not operation, with uh, what uh, OS you're, you're running. So, um, if your OS is up to date, like mine is, then you're fine doing this, it should work for you. All right, so we're going to get out of here and we're going to go back into our USB drive right here. And what we want to do is take this and put it into DVD. But before we do that, this is the big mistake that you, you um, need to avoid doing. We need to name this the Pacific file name that's on the disk. So we're going to open it up here. And you see here it just mounted. So we're going to open that and look into it. And this is the same exact files that were inside the DVD here. So we're going to look for one file, and that's this one right here. Uh, this, this is what you should name every ISO to work with uh, the Free McBoot program, the um, OPL here. This is what you want to be looking for. Uh, SLPS underscore 255. It's, it's going to be a custom number. Every game is different. You want to name this ISO on your computer, not inside your USB drive. You want to name it on the computer. So we're going to name this SLPS underscore 25542. Cool, cool. So that's the name right here. So this file will work on the USB. Um, and say you want to name it any further, it has to be this name. If you want to name it any further, like give it a uh, the name of the game. Basically, we'll call it uh, Uzumaki um, right here. So game is called Uzumaki. We're just going to name it that. This should work. You just put an underscore, and then whatever you want to name it after that is fine. So we're going to exit out of here, right? And then we're going to take this file and drop it right into our USB DVD folder. And it should be working here. And you see it's going in. It's about a gig, a gig and a half almost. We're just going to let it go. All right, skipping through here, we got about 10 seconds left. As this is finishing up, though, let me know if you guys are getting uh, any type of value from this video. Uh, go down and like it. Like the video, help support the channel. Um, as this is finishing up here, this is basically the last step. Once it's in, we're good. We got it. So we can go ahead and put this right into the PS, uh, PS2, that is, and um, I'll show you guys what you need to do from there. All right, guys, so we're at my desk here, and I got my PS2 right here. Here's the uh, USB that I'm using right here. Uh, this is the blank one that uh, I was showing you guys. Or I, I didn't show you guys, actually. This is the blank one that I was talking about. And uh, here's the PS2. Everything is good. The free McBoot memory card is in. So I have really no other way of showing you this other than off camera um, or off TV here. Uh, so we're just going to power this guy on. As you can see, there it goes, coming on here. And when you power it on, you should get that splash screen here. But if you have a game in here like I do, the game is going to just start. <laughs> so I got to open it, restart it. My bad. <laughs> Uh, so you got to make sure you don't have a game in here, but you're going to see that Free McBoot is popping up here. Let me make sure that 
this is not blurry for you guys. I'm gonna zoom in just a bit here. This is basically the home screen here. And let me grab my controller so I can show you guys. This is the home screen that you're gonna pop up on when you have the free boot memory card in your PS2. And you're gonna have all of these programs right here. See this? All of these different kind of programs. What we want to use is the, um, right here, it's the uh, Open PlayStation HD Loader. You wanna use this one right here, the OPL. Not the HD Loader, but the OPL. So if your memory card and your uh, USB flash drive are in, we're gonna click into this, and it should open up on the splash screen here, OPL. And for me, when I first started this, um, it didn't pop up on my USB, uh, my USB drive. It popped up on this screen right here. And this screen right here is basically, and you can see in the upper right hand corner, I think that's the right, uh, left, left, I'm sorry, the upper left corner up there, you can see that. That's like a hard drive little symbol. Um, if you see this, you just have to go ahead and hit left on your, on your uh, controller there, and you should see your USB pop up like this. So you see that little USB in the corner there. Um, you're just gonna hit X on it, and it's gonna read it, and in a second here, boom, there we go. That's the file we named on the computer. Um, that's the ISO. That's what we're gonna be using here. Uh, and if you don't see this pop up, that means you've basically just named it wrong. You wanna go ahead and go back into the folder and um, into, onto your computer desktop. If you rename it inside the uh, USB that you're using, it's gonna corrupt. So do not rename it on the USB. Um, I might show you guys what that looks like if you end up doing that after I show you this running. So you're gonna click on this, right? Whichever game you're gonna play. So we got Uzumaki here. Uzumaki Kanakun, or Uz Uzumaki Naruto Ninden is the name of this one. Japanese import. So it's gonna be loading here for a little bit. And then after it gets done loading, you're gonna see a few flashes of light, colors. And once we get past the colors, that's when you know it works. So this is the crossing your finger moment right here. It looks like we're in. And... There you go. The game is running. We have successfully taken the ISO off of the disk onto a USB using Free Boot software and we got it running on the PS2. And it is indeed a Japanese import, as you can see. The game's running. Now, the only downside to running a game off a USB is if the USB isn't fast, which most aren't, you're gonna get a little bit of choppiness on the cutscenes here. And it's only just the pre rendered cutscenes. Um, the rest of the game plays smooth, like almost as if you're playing it off the disc. This is the only part where it's a little choppy. But yeah, there you go. All right. So here, let me uh, jump into the game for you guys. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna jump into the game for you guys and show you exactly how it plays on the USB. And everything pretty much loads pretty pretty fast here. The only thing is the loading times here, right here when you're uh, waiting for the game. That's the only part. Just the load speeds are a little slower than you would expect for um, for uh, a PS2. I mean, you know, we're on PS4 age, so. <laughs> Things load way faster than they than they uh, do on the PS2, but So yeah, here's the game. I mean sure it was running perfectly fine. You're about to get into a fight here Just wanted to show you guys that it, it runs perfectly fine um, I haven't had any hiccups. I'm pretty far into the game. I'm I've almost beating it this guy but Yeah, I mean like it Runs smooth we're gonna do a full power rising gun for you guys here. We'll, uh, 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 get it! Ah! I love this game, man. When I was a kid, when this came out, oh my god, I was so happy. I was so happy when this game came out. The only thing is, is in the US, they cut half the game out because we weren't that far into anime, so they cut out the whole Kisame, Itachi fight, Jiraiya, 
Uh, Sonade wasn't even in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I had to I had to play this Japanese version. But yeah, there you go. That's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it to the end here and you found some value in it, uh, help the channel out and go down and like the video. And also consider subscribing. Uh, I do videos on JRPGs like Naruto, Who's the Micah Chronicles here, or Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot just coming out soon. I'm gonna be down in the comments helping you guys out. If you have any type of uh, questions, uh, don't be afraid to Put them in the comments down there. I did a lot of research on this beforehand um, and looked into a lot of uh, freaking forms. So <laughs> it took like a week to do uh, to figure out how to do this for myself. So I'm just trying to save you guys a shortcut. But anyways, that's it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.